So I would like to talk to you about either, so you might be getting a geometry cabinet drawer or a leaf cabinet drawer, and they both kind of have the same idea. Um, if it's a geometry cabinet drawer, it will have shapes, and if it's a leaf cabinet, like geometric shapes, and if it's a leaf cabinet drawer, it will have leaf shapes. Um, so you can do a lot with this. It can be done just like a puzzle. Um, you can also have, this is called the aperture, and this is the inset. So you could put the apertures on one side of the room and have the insets on the other side of the room. And in the classroom, we usually use like memory rocks or something, but you can have like a little something to mark which one the child is gonna go find. They can play this game by themselves or you can be playing it with them. Um, so they would just mark, put the rock on the one that they wanna go find and then go find it. And then if it fits in the, in the aperture that has a rock on it, then they found the one they were looking for. If not, they just take it back and try again. So that's a game that you can play just with these. Um, also, there's a lot of language work that you can do with this. So, I mean, if it's like a circle drawer, we probably won't send cards home with that because you likely know that there are circles and so does your child. Um, but if it's like the leaf cabinet or, you know, polygons or something, then we'll also send cards that have the language with it. Um, and if your child is an emerging reader, then we would likely send it in a three-part card format. Um, but this will tell you the shapes, names, so reniform. So this is another thing that you can be doing um, as an extension on your daily walks or in your yard, just looking for other leaves that have these same shapes or also, you know, just the shape, like geometric shapes in your neighborhood. So um, see how many you can find in a day. And then we will usually send you home also some paper that is cut uh, to the same size as the aperture. Um, and then your child can take the aperture out and line it up with the paper. This is like what we do with the metal insets in the classroom, um, but they can do this with these drawers to make books. So uh, there'll be enough metal, or not metal insert paper, enough aperture paper to um, make one or two books in your box. And then they can also practice writing the name of the um, shape. So for this, it would be meniform. And if they're not really writing yet, you can use a marker and write it yourself. Usually I use like a highlighter and then they can practice tracing over those letters or they don't have to write it at all. Um, just depending on you know where your child is and where their interest is if they're wanting to do writing That's a way to support them in doing that um, And if they're really good at tracing then don't give them that aid See if they can just look at the letters on the card and copy them onto the paper um, And then if they're not at all interested in writing don't have them do writing at all It's really you're gonna cater it to your child's interests and development um, and then there also usually is some um, construction paper, that's just to be the cover of the book once they have finished making it. So that is the geometry cabinet and leaf cabinet.